Hey folks, Engineer775 here. I want to do a follow-up video for you on the Solar Hybrid Hot Water Controller. It's this gizmo we'll show you here. You can probably zoom in on it and see, because um, you can't see it now where I have it installed because it's inside of a box. So that's a simple little board and what's cool about it, it's allowing me to have virtually free hot water. What do I mean by that? Well, we've been running this controller for 72 days that I've actually been monitoring my grid power and I've been watching how this thing has been performing. We haven't changed our lifestyle at all in the house and, and I'll go through the numbers in a little bit, but under basically under $4 a month of electricity usage to have all the water we want. So I just took a shower on it. The water was at 146 degrees. I have no skin left. No, just kidding. We have a mixing valve that makes the water so that you don't scald yourself. So um, we did some basic calculations. We're right at $3.90 a month for hot water usage, but we could live completely off grid with this PV direct system. Again, my hobby, my goal, if you've been following me for any period of time, you know that using solar panels and appliances or pumps, controllers directly and not having to go through batteries has just is my goal. One of these days we will live in a house that is completely PV direct. So that's my, my highfalutin goal. Until then I'm still using batteries a little bit. So um, this controller is just working. It's working great in this water heater. I'll show you the, the setup that I have and um, if you've got any questions let me know. I also want you to know that you know we can help you out with this. This is kind of a do-it-yourself project where you have to take the controller and put it in a box uh, make some connections and sometimes if you're just offered the controller it's kind of it can be a daunting task maybe for you so we can help you if you need to get solar panels the wire to connect to the controller the box a lot of these things can be done locally the instructions that come with it are pretty clear and they show you what you will need to get in order to make the connections again this is a controller that can be hooked directly to your existing element in your water heater, electric water heater. You do not have to change out the electric water heater. It will work with the thermostat, will not melt the thermostat. I have tested this thing. I have blown one up. I've put uh, 12, I put five, I put way too much solar on it and I did fry the MOSFET on this board, but it still worked and still made hot water even after doing that to it. I did that on purpose. Um, I would not recommend. I just want to see what the upper limit was and the gentleman that came up with this pan this panel um, Nathaniel has done a great job and I appreciate him and the help that he's given me so um, I know I've put some projects up that are pretty high dollar pricey lately <laughs> and um, so I just wanted to put one up that was really reasonable that will pay for itself on, in under a year easily depending on how much water you use and so this is just a great project so let me show you some of the numbers Okay, here we're in the house and looking at some of the numbers on the cool meter I got from a subscriber who uh, customized one for, for me. I talked to him for quite a while. There'll be more about this. If you're interested in one, I can get you one. Hey, it just shut off. Little battery operated unit. And you push the button and it's giving me, it's got two thermal couples. See the two leads coming out of it. I'm measuring the temperature at the bottom of the tank and I tucked one in behind the insulation at the top of the tank and that's why you see the two different temperatures and not much difference between the two so it really tells the tale of what's going on with the PV direct water heating controller so that's awesome the other thing I added since video number one was the meter on the grid element okay you can see my voltage 238 volts from the grid and I've used 71 kilowatts of energy on the upper element when this, when the lower element couldn't keep up with the solar due to bad weather, due to guests coming over, parties, dishes, and those kinds of things. And this has been on for over 72 days. And I just checked our calendar to double check that. So in 72 days, I've used 71 kilowatts. And I pay 13 cents a kilowatt. So that works out to roughly $3.90 a month that I spend on 
heating this tank on the grid element. So less than $4 a month and we have all the hot water we want. And when you're making 145 degree water, that is a lot of hot water in a 50 gallon tank. So it works out to be, you know, close to 60, 70 gallons worth of water. So, and with the booster, we can't really see it. The tank booster, mixing it down, nobody gets scalded, but everybody enjoys the hot water. So does this work? Yes, this works extremely well. Uh, and I'm over two months of using it. So I hope this update was helpful to let you know that this hybrid water heating controller works really, really well. And I wouldn't need to, you know, the grid element came on a couple of times, but it wasn't on for long because it only had to take the water temperature up from say 90 degrees to 120. But you could completely live off grid without that upper element. The other thing in an off grid situation, I could get another controller and hook it to the upper grid element and um, or took it to the entire water heater there's a lot of tricks here so you could have two elements heating simultaneously which you never get to do with a normal water heater so um, anyway so many ideas so much fun so rewarding to not have to spend a lot of money on hot water this is one of the most overlooked things when people are going off grid and into preparedness of how to um, do their hot water economically and sustainably and this is my favorite thus far it's a great DIY project okay I just went in and took a four minute shower the temperature differential between the top and the bottom before I went in was a tenth of a degree Fahrenheit and now you see nine degrees between the top of the tank and the bottom of the tank but overall what do you see still plenty of <coughs> excuse me of hot water to take plenty of showers so in four minutes if you can't take a decent shower I don't know what what I, what I can do for you. You're probably a teenager. But anyway, this is a very, very slick system in my opinion. I added a lot of bells and whistles that you don't need to monitor it and to check on temperatures and to check on um, wattages, volts. Oh, come on, camera. This camera is just, it's been abused. And she won't focus on that. That is actually 71 kilowatts since I started this project uh, right there. So, okay. Sorry about that. So, again, um, some of the things that will come with the instructions are the size of the box you need to put it in for the amount of solar I'm using, which is 1,200 watts. I've just got it in a standard metal box. And this acts like a, a nice a heat sink. It's not hot at all. It's just uh, gives off enough heat to keep that board nice and cool. And... And that's it. You see the connections to the lower element. And then this is the regular pull disconnect, grid disconnect to the element. So if you don't remember, I disc disconnected the top element from the bottom element. So they're independent. And I'm using solar directly into the bottom and grid at the top. So I love it. And at 100 and 146 degrees. This tank is, I want to say ice cold, but I feel no heat at all. It's colder. It feels cold to the touch. So that's the kind of tank you want to start with. A decent tank. If you can find a commercial grade tank, I recommend that you do that. But it's still an electric water heater. So again, there are 17 million of these in the United States that I think that are not utilized properly. Think of your water heater as a thermal battery crank the temperature up on it, store energy when you can, when the sun is shining, then mix it down to what you need to, and you could completely live without utility support. For most people, their water heater consumes 30% of their electricity. And imagine just re eliminating that 30% right off the top. And that's what I've done here with this controller. So, if you've got any questions, let me know. We can put together a package to make things easier for you, a controller, wire, MC4 connectors, disconnects, solar, and um, I'll go out and show you my high dollar solar ground mount now. Again, this is not a professionally installed array, but you know what? It's been up through a lot of storms. I've tested this thing. I got $3 in PVC. Just made little tees for each, uh, each panel, and then I zip tied the panels together. And um, just series the panels together this is a real redneck install but I've never had it move and we've had some pretty rough storms lately so it works I see they are a little jockeyed little 
uh, sawtooth because they have moved. But uh, and I got some grass getting in the bottom edge of this. So this was temporary just to do my test with the water heating element. And they were back in a place where they were getting a lot more shade. So I know I can do the water in my home for about $3 a month. So anyway, let me know if I can help you. Be glad to. And uh, again, this is a very reasonable do-it-yourself solar project. Okay, so whether you want to mount them on the ground or on the roof or on a pole, I do have a pretty decent uh, top of pole mount that'll mount from one to six panels. And it's very reasonable. You can spec that out for you. Or if you want to put it on a roof, the hardware for that, we can make a package. So whether you do a ground mount, do-it-yourself ground mount, or whether you want a pole mount hardware from me, or some uh, roof mounting hardware, whether it's for a metal roof or asphalt shingles, just let me know. We can put together a little hot water package for you, take out a, a lot of the, the guessing, and get you on your way to free hot water. This is Engineer 775 signing out.